Hey YouTube, it's Billif here, and today I'm back with the third episode of my Barrow Career Mode on FIFA 21. And today we're going to be kicking off the episode with a game against Mansfield, who are 17th in the league, but I believe they're a pretty decent team. So hopefully I can get a good result out of this. Yeah, they've got Nicky Maynard up front there, bound to be a good team here. And is that James Perch in central midfield? Yep, I've just googled it and James Perch plays for Mansfield, so two very good players there. So this could be a difficult game. Oh no, they've got the ball through early here. And they scored early on. That is an awful start. Oh my god. They just played it straight past my defence and he slipped it under the keeper. I've just not tracked him well enough with the run. And that's a really good finish, to be fair. Oh no, they've got the ball again into the box here. But that's a really good block from Bruff. Block? It's a really good block from Bruff. Oh my god. I wasn't commentating over that because I didn't think he'd be able to get such a good shot off from that position. Mansfield are looking very dangerous here. I need to improve. Get Barry away down the line here. Plenty of room to run into. So hopefully I can get a ball back here. It's a good ball back. Ah, oh, he can't get the volley on it, but James has got to the rebound. And just for half time, but a really good chance to score. I, honestly, I expected him to head it from the cross and he's tried to volley it. And then, yeah, that's a good save by the keeper at the near post, but it was going to be difficult to score from that angle. Right, and that is half-time there. Mansfield have been the better team, but I have showed some promise. I have got forward a couple of times and had a couple of chances to score, so I think there's a goal in this for me in the second half. Good ball in there. Try and get James in. Go on, have that shot. And that is one all. I did not expect it to drop to Grib in there, but that is a really good finish from about the edge of the box there, right into the top corner. And that's sort of almost out of nothing, really. I'm trying to get James through, but I saw Gribbin making that run. And what a finish that is, first time. Tried to get James to make the run there, but I just saw Gribbin. Little nick off the defender, but that's put him right into his path. And that's a really good finish from the edge of the box. Keeper's got no chance with that. And as quick as that, we're right back in the game. Make him make the run, so I've got a bit of room for Gribbin to run into. Play it through to James. It's a really good ball from Gribbin. James is in, and James has made it 2-1. Within 15 minutes of the second half starting, we've turned it right around, and now we are leading this game against Mansfield. And you've got to say, Gribbin has been at the heart of his comeback. I made Quigley make the run just to make the space for Gribbin to run into. And then James made the run. Gribbin's played it right into him, and that's a really good finish from James. Keeper again has no chance. And we are now leading the game 2-1. Oh, they got the ball into the box here, but that's a really good block from Broth. They're going to get to the rebound. And Maynard has scored. So as quickly as things can turn in your favour, they can also turn back against you. And that is 2 all. That's really unlucky, that. I made a really good block with Broth from the first shot, and it's just dropped straight to Maynard, and I can't get to the ball in time. Oh, I've got Jones in here. Going to have the shot from a tough angle, but he scored it. I did not expect to score from that angle, but that is a really good finish from Jones. Played through by Quigley, and that is a really good finish from a difficult angle into the top corner. And that is 3-2 to Barrow. That's a really good finish into the top corner. Keeper, for the third time in this game, has absolutely no chance of saving it. And now we are once again leading. Hopefully this time I can hold out. Going to put the ball in here. It's a really good ball. Good chance for Jones. And Jones has made it 4-2. I just had the ball there for like two or three minutes. I was just passing it around. And then one chance to get Burns down the line to put a ball in. And that is a really good header. And James makes it 4-2. Hardcastle in the box here. Try and play it back. Going to have the shot here with James. And that is a good save from the keeper. Good ball in from Hardcastle. Quigley. Heads it just wide. Chance to make it five there, but I've not quite managed it. And that is full time. We win 4-2. Really good game of football. And I think we were fully deserving of that 4-2 win. Mansfield had the better of the first half, but five goals in the second half. Four of them to us. I think we deserve that win. Right now we've got the second game of the episode here against Harrogate, who are 18th in the league. And they have three points after three games. One win, two losses. And we've managed to do one better than them by getting one draw and only one loss. So hopefully we can get another win here and beat Harrogate. And this is the battle of the newly promoted teams, I've just realised. The two teams coming up from the National League. Oh no, they got the ball into the box there. And oh my god, he's absolutely blazed that over the bar. I did not expect such a poor finish from that distance. 
It was poor defending by me for him to even get the chance in the first place, but that is a really poor finish from that sort of distance. Got Burns away on the left here, going to whip in a first-time cross. Hope to get it on someone's head. Quigley's coming in on it, and Quigley has put it just wide, and the other player can't get to the ball before it goes out of play. Yeah, that is a difficult chance in between defenders. Got the ball through to Gribben here. Really good chance. Really good finish. Absolutely slams it into the top right corner. And that is 1-0 to Barrow. We have been putting the pressure on in the last 10 minutes. And I think that goal is very deserving after the pressure we've been putting on. You can get the ball into the box with Barry here to the back post. It's a good ball. And James has missed it from there. Oh, my God. He's about two or three yards out. Open goal, pretty much. And he's put it wide. That should be 2-0 to Barrow. That was a really poor finish from James. Right. That is half time. We are leading Harrogate 1-0. And it has definitely been deserved. Har Harrogate have only really had one chance. And we've we've had quite a few. We probably should be leading more than 1-0. James definitely should have scored that chance which he had. But we're still leading. So all in all, a good half. And they've got to go ball in good position here. And that is a good save from Lillis. Quickly running through here. Good chance for Quigley to get his first goal of the season. Oh, and he's hit the inside of the post. Oh, so close for Quigley. Almost gets his first goal of the season. And it's inches away. Hitting the inside of the post and then rolling back across the line pretty much. So unlucky. That's a good ball in. That's a good save from the keeper. That's going to be one all in it. Oh, he's offside. Thank God for that. Because I did not deal with that well defensively at all. That is very debatable as to whether that's actually offside or not. I think you need to get VAR on that one to actually check that. But I've definitely gotten away with one there because that should have been one all. Oh no, I've given the ball away in a really dangerous position here in front of my defence. And he has got in here. And that is one all. And that was such a bad mistake from my midfielder. I just gave the ball straight away to them. And Stead makes up for being offside in the last attack because he has made it one all here. Go on, can James get to that? James has got to that. Play it through to Quigley. Quigley's got another chance to get his first goal of the season here. And he's blazed it over the bar. The play just moved a little bit too slow and he couldn't get enough space ahead of the defenders into the box. And that at the end, though, is quite a poor finish. And that was a chance to win the game right at the last. And that is the end of the game. And it's a one-all draw against Harrogate. Not an awful result, but considering the game, considering Quigley hit the post, James should have scored a practically open goal earlier on the game. I think we are unfortunate not to get the three points from this game. But a draw isn't a bad result. Just going to change my team around here, because uh, some of my players are tired for the next game. And I've just seen Teehee here. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And that's just reminded me of uh, yesterday when I was trying to just get um, shots of the players for that I can use for thumbnails. And um, this is what happened when I tried to get one of Teehee. What the f***? Um, uh, I was literally recording this to try and like get my players for my thumbnails. And what the f*** is this? What the hell have I come across? So yeah, that was um that was really weird and I've never seen anything like that in FIFA before. Right now we've got the third and final game of the episode against Crawley. Both on five points after four games. We're in 14th, they're in 12th, so they obviously have the better goal difference. But hoping for a good game here and hoping to get another win. I've made a couple of changes for this game because players were tired. So I've bought in Hardcastle for Gribbin, bought in Taylor for Jones, and I bought in Brown for Barry because all those three players I took out were a bit tired. Quigley and Beedling are also a bit tired, but I've not really got another centre midfielder I can bring in, and neither of the other strikers really fit the system like Quigley does. So I've decided to leave them in, and also Burns is my best player, I think. So I've left him in as well, even though he's a little bit tired. Gonna have a shot with Quigley here. Not a bad effort. It just sat up well for him, but maybe shouldn't have gone for goal there. Oh no, they've got the ball through here because they had a two-on-one. Bring the keeper out though. That's a poor header from uh, the striker and an easy claim for the keeper. Quigley got him through there. I think he's onside. He's not quick, but he's going to get into the box. Going to cut it back here. Going to have the shot. And that is 1-0. Quigley has now got his first goal of the season after missing a couple of chances in the last game. But he's done well there. Just a clipped over ball from Taylor. Cuts back on the defender. And that's a really good finish into the top right corner. And that is 1-0 to Barrow. They've got a ball over if they play it out here. That is an awful ball. That was such a simple ball to play. You could have just slipped it through on the floor. Try and get a 1-2 going here. Get Brown down the line. That's a good ball. 
Get Brown into the box. I'm not seeing an option across. So I'm going to shoot with Brown. And that is a good save by the keeper, to be fair. I think I went a little bit too close into the goal with Brown. We were wanting to shoot a little bit earlier. But nice little one-two and play down the line with Brown and James. Right, that is half-time. And we've been the better team here. Crawley have only really had one chance. And we've had two or three. Scored one of them. Winning 1-0. Completely deserve it. Oh, that's a good ball in. And that's a really good defending by Platt, though. Quickly's in again here. Try and go for the near post. And that is 2-0. That looked like it went very central down the goal. I suspect that that was actually not a very good finish. And the keeper should have done better with that. But I don't care. That's 2-0. And that is Quigley's second of the game. Yeah, it's gone quite central. The keeper hasn't covered his near post very well, to be honest. I think... Yeah, he's left a massive gap open at the near post. The keeper should really be doing better with that, to be honest. But that is 2-0. And I think I'm now going to bring Quigley off because he's quite tired. So... Not going to get the chance to get his hat-trick, unfortunately, for him. Attack. Oh, they managed to get through my defence here, and they've had a shot on goal. And that is making it tight at the end of this game now. I should have dealt with that better, to be honest. But he's managed to get through in between both my centre-backs, and he's managed to score. And that is 2-1, and now it's going to make it a bit tight to the end of this game now. He's managed to shoot with both his legs inside each other, by the looks of it, then. But that goal hasn't mattered in the end because I have won the game 2-1. Disappointing to concede near the end because I didn't want to get my first clean sheet of the season. But it's not going to matter in the end because we have still won the game and it's completely deserved. We were the better team. Right, that's where I'm going to end this episode with us 8 in the league. So we've had a good start to the season. 10 scored, 10 conceded. We've conceded a lot of goals, a lot more than the teams around us. We've also scored more and being 8th with 8 points in the first 5 games of the season, I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. But we are going to kick off next episode with a really tough cup game against Fulham. But if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like. If you want to carry on watching this series, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.